Denver's trendy Rhino Arts District is making headlines again, this time for what's replacing the tiny home village that just went up at 38th and Blake. Denver 7's Russell Haythorn has more on Rhino's rapid transformation. This tiny home village in Rhino is moving. That's nothing new. We've always known that this is only a temporary location for them. What is new is what's going up here permanently. It will also cater to affordable housing. For these tiny home villagers, this corner at 38th and Walnut has been an island of opportunity. It's given me a, a back my life, you know. I, uh, I'm able to go to work. Christopher Samu is now working for U-Haul. He says the tiny home village not only provided a place to sleep, but a chance to get back on his feet. Well, it was rough, you know, living between sleeping out on the street and living in a homeless shelter. While the village is moving to a new location yet to be determined, we're learning more about what's going up in its place. This 65-unit complex with one, two, and three-bedroom units for low-income residents. The Urban Land Conservancy owns the land. That means this will always be affordable housing in an otherwise unaffordable neighborhood. We're seeing speculation, we're seeing development, and it's making really hard for working families to be able to stay in the community. So at this location, it's really key. Russell Haythorn, Denver 7. The apartment complex should be completed in 2019.